Round number two, where they allowed Ents to get the bomb down. Okay, just a wide swing. Hello, 80s. And good night. This entire special oh. three kills, all headshots. <laughs> yes, it might be a half buy, but make sure to head over to the link in the description to see us go fast.com. They have a wide range of game modes, a bunch of giveaways, a bonus level system for active users, and if you use my code scenery, you'll get one dollar completely free. Massive thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Eternal Fire successfully retake the B site. Spinks in the meanwhile, though, will finalize onto Kallax, who was low. And now X Floud at least has the bomb plant for his position, but they must expect this one as the spray is in, and neither of them were checking decon. That is an area that has to get looked at, and Ents have paid the full price. Smoke on side, but Emo's playing behind it. Flashes are good, but Kallax spray lets him down. Emo tries to go in for two, but it's only one. And as Antares has been split apart as well, Woxic missing no. a. Very important shot. Gets the second though. Now D has less to live. He knows he's on the site and just flicks up. No defuse required because Woxic locks it down by himself. Things that get interesting, but Kalix goes in for the peak on ramp and Fallen from above just drops down, nails him, and gives him a real hope. This puts down Torres in a horrific position. He's stuck in the middle of nowhere. He needs help, and Woxic is going to leave yet a little bit of that pressure. 18 seconds to go, but Santaris has been found and fried. Beautiful flick from Woxic, but he's now alone. Oh, Woxic is landing every shot. Oh, Woxic clutches out. They needed a hero play. They needed something to spur them on, and that could be the catalyst. But that is not sustainable. That that's not that's not how you're gonna win more rounds. Great stuff from Woxic though. Some nasty shots being hit by him. They wasn't really getting harassed by any utility either. Just being given the opportunities to take these fights. 25 seconds. Four players are now here. They've done nothing to bait away Eternal Fire, but the flash is good. Emor now holds on. Double spray comes in for Emor, and this is a done deal. Eternal Fire, pull it off. Knock out their adversaries. And Secondary AWP for Eternal Fire. This time's going to be Kalix wielding it. And for a mouse, yeah, they win one again. They have to work with the pistol. The flashbang from Xantaris. It is beautiful. Didn't need any setup from any of his teammates. And early on, Frozen and JDC taken care of. Oh, Xantaris is just not going to miss these chances, is he? 17 kills. Ugh, we saw Torzi pull off very similar stats. I think he was on 18 and 4 at one stage. Around the same time on Nuke. And Zantara is just uh, having a look across to the, the enemy and saying, whatever you can do, I can do better. Uh, okay. All right, Zantaris. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, why not? Why not give it a try? <laughs> Finishes the man off anyway. 10-3 to the score. It's 18 and 5. Pushing up aggressively. Woxic and Emor have this one locked in. Flashbang through. Emor gets aggressive. Even though there's no kills coming out, he is close enough proximity that Molotov will probably extend on the last tick. I'm not sure it's going to be a close one. If it does, he's in trouble. It doesn't. He's lucky. And that might bait them into a false sense of security here. Woxic is just taking them oh! all down, though. And he's allowed that safety net because of Emo's positioning. But he doesn't need him to move an inch. And the Turkish star Orpa shows us why, once again, he is revered when he's on form. See, if he's stuck around, this should be an easy kill. He's electing for the bomb instead. It does fall in, but that's still a very cool play. Real oh, 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 forget no. about what I said. What a headshot. Yeah, he was ready. I, I like what Tizim was doing. He's like, I'm going to pick up the bomb and you can't win the round. But now it's all up in the air again. And it's 16 HP on 16 HP. It's legitimately a 1v1 with tied health, which is absolutely mental. And I mean, at least they know Tapson is definitely, they know he's low HP. They know he's been gushed as well. So Kalix going to make the run towards the A bomb site, bomb in hand. And when does Tapson get the information? Hearing the footsteps now. And the bomb is going to go down with five seconds, not leaving a whole lot of time to spare. And here we go into the clutch. Man, if you would have guessed that timing wrong, if Tamsin had actually been nearby, yeah. that would have been the end of the round right then and there, but he's sneaking away. P215, and he's got the pre-aim, he's got the pre-fire, and he's going to get that last kill. It's a quad kill. No bomb plant happening just yet. Emo really wanted it. Nice little spam for the smoke. He's even going to do more damage. They're in a lot of trouble right here. Tapson, no problem to get that kill on Woxic, and it's going to be a two versus four when the dust settles. No bomb plant happening just yet, although sneaking out in the middle. No way. Uh, 
Oh my lord, this is weird. Keto. Oh, he cannot manage it. He knew what was coming. He knew where the second player was as well. Oh dear. They found an opening towards the B bomb site. Eternal Fire yet again have found the solution. A two on two plants. This is oh man, there's no way he jumped down and I actually thought even in the middle there they were gonna fight they were gonna at least lose one to the AWP. Nice headshot from Tizian and leaves it all on the Emo one versus two. And you're right, they have the money. They don't have to worry about that. They even have a Molotov on Tizzy, and if they knew where Emo was, they could probably put him out of the round almost immediately. Obviously, if they kit as well, there's the Molotov into the corner. One position, they don't have to check, but he's still up in the upper dark position. Gonna get one of them, comes running back, and he gets a flick on Tizzy, and that is one hell of a round for Emo. A quad kill and a one versus two clutch at the end. This is getting a little bit weird for Big. They've got the whole map, but they just can't find any other players. Finally, they get that kill on X Cloud, and that is enough. They go straight for the bomb plant. Missed WD for Kalex. Maybe could have had that kill. Very low on health on the other side there, but we'll see. Searson nearly out of the round. They still can't find him. They're just not able to hunt him down. Just a bullet would do it. Same is true on the other side there for Tizian, but they're not finding any of the shots at the moment here. Eternal Fire. They need this last round desperately, but Searson says no. Good kill right there. Kalex on his own. One versus two. Pops open the door, and he's going to get that shot again. They're all one bullet away from death. Oh, nice shot from Kalex. A one versus three. They were so low to begin with. Oh, no kit. It's going to get close at the end, but... He was really fast with it, and it is going to be a 10 to 5 end. Woxic, the near impossible situation, Anders. Yeah, nothing to really do here. Tech 9 in his hand, 1 versus 5, and walking into a huge stack outside. They know where he is, and they're coming for him as well. 16 to 7, as big throw Eternal Fire out of the tournament here at the quarterfinals. That is... That's a nice little uh, recovery there. We're going to see what happens. We have the desk ready for us with a breakdown of this whole thing. So take it away.